the moment when I see the cursor blinking and it's a blank page, I have it open, is one of the most exciting feelings that I can describe. There's just that moment of potential, kind of like a spring, um, and just something that you are about to spark and you know that you're the one in control. For me, writing, I see it as the mark that I make on the world, and I want to make sure that it's something I can be proud of. When I first um, got my laptop when I was six years old, I took off, and people were like, why are you skipping dinner to write? I guess it could have been seen as a little bit scary for a six-year-old to be so into it, but I just knew that I had found what I really wanted to do. I found Word and I was like typing, and they really couldn't stop me. I was seven when I wrote Flying Fingers, nine with Dancing Fingers, and ten with Young in Disguise. I'm not here because of any special brain power. Much as I would love to be a genius, I'm pretty sure I'm not actually. And that's something that people have to realize that we can all be, we create our own exceptionalness, which should totally be a word. <laughs> For me, I feel like the reason that I started writing and had enough confidence in myself to say I want to publish a book and do all these things was because I was naive, because I was impulsive. I didn't maybe see all the challenges that lay ahead. And if I did see them, I wouldn't let them stop me. For me, it wasn't about the laptop creating a love of writing. That was already there. It was for me an enabler, something that allowed me to go so much faster, to put my thoughts down almost as quickly as they occurred to me. Anything that puts that instant power, that instant audience in your hands, gives us that independence is pretty awesome. I definitely love PCs. That's where I find my home because as a writer, I go there first. And I feel like in the work that I do with students, I want to be really close and accessible. Most students use PCs. They have PCs at home, they have PCs at school. And so when I'm opening up a Word document or I'm just writing collaboratively with them, it's really apparent to them, wow, this is something that I can do at home, at school. I started video conferencing with schools to teach students, and pretty soon that expanded. I got um, an interactive whiteboard to do presentations on, and camera, lights to start recording. Suddenly I could reach all those students via video conferencing, and I could record it, I could live stream it, I could put it on the internet for people to watch later. This is probably one of the proudest things that I have on the wall, which is a real testament to the effect of one of my video conferences. So these kids actually started writing these poems after my conference and sent me a little book of their poems, which made me super happy and definitely the greatest feeling that you can have as a teacher. Look at your most recent poem. Those are terrible look at, look, ones that I don't want you to read because I would diss them. Okay, Her that husband, one. does he whisper you through the flames? They think so. My <laughs> sister Adriana is two years older than me, so naturally we get into fights all the time. Not so much now that we've learned to kind of collaborate more than compete. My sister has all the musical talent. I sadly can't even sing on key. I am not singing. Yeah, this is cool. I'm only singing the chorus. My mom has been a huge influence in my life as well from the moment when I said, hey, I want to get published. One-handed flick and then <laughs> putting on, it was so oh funny my gosh. every time he kept on stabbing himself in the eye. People say, I want to make a difference in a very grand general way. And while that attitude is amazing and definitely a first step, it's not good enough all on its own. Changing things starts with the confidence that you have an idea that's worth spreading. We can really give ourselves voices in ways that we might have waited for adults or media to do before. So I got back in touch with her about like the t-shirt designs and posters and stuff. I think that the feeling for me when I step out on the court and I have a basketball and I'm trying to make a shot is very similar to the way that a cursor looks blinking on a page. It's that feeling of potential, the spring that's about to go. It's addicting. It's the reason why I keep on trying to change the world because no matter how you do it, whether it's an action large or small, feeling that potential is essential to wanting to keep going.